So I'm gonna move on to performing reviews of your financials. So I've told you about your financials. I've told you about ratios that you're going to use to help you in looking at your situation. You have to review it and do analysis and use it to be helpful. It's one thing to just calculate it. It's a whole nother to actually then take that information and go forward. You want to review your financial statements, not just one period at a time. You don't just want to look at 2021s or 2020s or 2025s or whatever year. You want to compare the last two to three months. You want to compare the last two to three quarters. You want to compare the last two to three years because looking at them together in that way, you can start to see trends. You can start to notice, hey, why is there all of a sudden a spike in marketing cost? Or why is this particular service or product like a deep drop in sales? Three years ago, it was you know 50% of our sales. Last year, it was only 25% of our sales. And this year, it seems to be only 10% of our sales. Like you need to look at the information over a period of time so that you can see the trends or information that stands out that says, hey, I need to look at this. And then you can take a deeper dive into that area to figure out what's going on. But if you don't even know that there's a problem or maybe something positive happening, you can't make changes, decisions based on the data because you haven't looked at it in totality. You may realize, well, if this particular product or service has dropped from 50 to 10% of our sales over a three-year period, maybe that particular product or service, it's time to phase it out. People no longer want it. You know, people's attitudes, needs change over time. And so it may be time to stop making that product or providing that service. Or it could be that, you know, a year ago you added a new service and you've noticed an increase in the sales in that service. So maybe you need to put some more resources to providing that service on a greater scale. But you won't know if you don't take the information, the ratios and do a deeper dive or analysis into the information to know. A lot of time people go, okay, great. I got my financial statements done and they don't do anything with it. And it's, it's rough when, you know, all of a sudden, not just with an investor or creditor, but in general, you're thinking life's great and the company's going along and all of a sudden you crash into a wall and they go, well, yeah, I mean, if you'd have looked at your financials for the last three years, you would see you were running out of cash. You would see you were carrying too big of a debt load and that you really can't afford to take on any more debt because you're not generating enough sales to pay the current debt off or all of those kinds of things. So don't just stop at having your financial statements prepared or calculating ratios, go then and start to do an analysis of over a certain time period so that you can see either good trend or, uh-oh, that's a red flag. This is going in the wrong direction over the last three, four or five years. And also then you can then start to use it also for planning for the next five, 10, 15 years based on some of the information you're seeing. So make sure you take that last step and do the analysis of the information. 